So this has become a, somewhat of a common question and so I thought I'd just go ahead and shoot a quick video to show what I've been talking about in one of these uh, one of these web pages about testing the air motor. I talk about uh, what's called, what I call flyback or backlash. I'm just trying to see if I could stay out of the light here. <laughs> uh, it just goes to show you that I don't test out these uh, test out these plans very well before I work. There we go. Maybe that'll work better. Okay. So what I'm talking about with flyback or uh, flashback, or uh, flashback, um, flyback is that you see I'm 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 moving the <clears throat> I'm moving this gear, <clears throat> and it keeps wanting to go back to where I just where I just was. All right. Doesn't matter which way I go. It always wants to go back. And that's because this particular motor, you can feel it as you're actually turning it around. When you turn it around 360 degrees, you can feel that it gets to a certain point where it's very relaxed, where the material is very relaxed. And then you get to the other points and it's really, really stiff. The, you can feel the tension as you're turning it around. You get to this point right here, it's nice and relaxed. But you get over to here and it's really, there's a lot of tension. Okay? The reason for that is that this motor sat in this position right here for a long, long, long time. And what happened is that the material got stiff. And you can feel that the material is stiff. You feel that all this material is stiff. Okay? And it's taken, I, I refer to, I call that taking a set. In other words, the material is taken a set. Um, and because it's rubberized cloth, uh, the rubber has gotten hard as it's gotten old. Um, one of the ways to avoid this problem, uh, as I've mentioned in numerous uh, articles that I've written, is simply to use the player piano a minimum of 15 minutes a month. As long as you use the player piano for a minimum of 15 minutes a month, every month, so it's not like you can use it for three hours at Christmas and now you've taken up your 15 minutes a month. No, you got to use it 15 minutes a month. Um, it'll prevent this problem from happening because the cloth will never take a set in the same place every single time. Um, what this causes when you're actually playing the piano it, it causes what I refer to as loping and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a vacuum hose on there and I'm gonna suck on this and you can watch what happens so you can see that it's not turning evenly and even though I'm sucking very evenly in fact you can even hear it So, so that's what happens when you don't use your player piano often enough. 